Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we're continuing Chapter 8 Logic and we're talking about these things. We're talking about implications, equivalence, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Awesome words, really difficult words, but it's actually a really simple concept once I explain it to you with examples and truth tables. All right, let's start with the first one, implications. And what implication means is basically this. If P, then Q. And essentially, it's from the word imply. So what does this imply? P implies Q. So here, if P occurs, then Q must occur. Now, this also has its own truth table. I'll show it to you in a second. But before I show it to you, let me explain the other four words. Number two here is something called converse. Now, this might be hard to remember, but you don't actually have to know the word itself. You just have to understand what it means is that if Q, then P. So it's kind of like the opposite of the first one. So then you may ask yourself, so what's inverse then? What's inverse? Because inverse is usually the opposite. Well, inverse is actually this. The inverse here would be, if not P, then not Q. And contrapositive is, if not Q, then not P. And finally, we have number five, which is equivalence. And equivalence is this. Equivalence is written like this with an arrow that has two, um, two directions. And what this means is, uh, it means Q if and only if P. So this is what we call equivalence. Now, okay, let's talk about these in a little bit more detail, starting with implications. And here I'm going to use a very simple example. An example is going to be uh, P here is going to be um, I was born in Seoul. P is I was born in Seoul, and Q is I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. So here, this is our P, this is our Q, and if we make our truth table, if you remember how to make the truth tables from the previous video, it will look something like this. So first possibility is that, yes, I was born in Seoul. Yes, I was born in, in Korea. Uh, yes, I was born in Seoul, but no, I wasn't born in Korea. No, I wasn't born in Seoul, but I was born in Korea. Or, no, I wasn't born in Seoul, and I wasn't born in Korea. So this is our possibility, four possibilities here. So let's take a look at the first one right here. Let's take a look at implication. So what is implication in this case? And actually, let's take a look at this more visually using two pictures. So here our implication is that if we have P, then Q. So it's, this is an if-then statement. If this, then this. And I'm going to make a truth table for this as well, just so we can uh, put the values in here right away. And implication number one is this. If I was born in Seoul, if I was born in Seoul, and this is Seoul right here, then I was born in Korea. That sounds pretty logical, right? If I was born in Seoul, I was born in Korea because Seoul is in Korea. So this here must be true. Now, this is our first possibility. So second possibility is P is true, Q is false. So he, this is basically like saying I was born in Seoul, but I was not born in Korea. Now here, if I was born in Seoul, I was not born in Korea. Does that make sense? So this is number two. I'm going to actually color code them as well so it makes more sense. So this second arrow will be red. Now, if I was born in Seoul, I was not born in Korea. Well, that doesn't really make sense because Seoul is in Korea, so that's impossible. So this is false. Third possibility is that I was not born in Seoul, but I was born in Korea. So I was not born in Seoul, but I was born in Korea. Is that possible? Yeah, sure. I could have been born in Busan or in Daejeon. So this is possible. A third one is also true. And the last one is I was not born in Seoul and, and I was not, if I was not born in Seoul, I was not born in Korea. And that's also possible. So because I could have been born in a different country. So this is also true. So for implications, that is P, um, if P then Q, this is your truth table. And this is something that um, you will have on your test, but it's also important to understand how this works. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at is the converse. 
So let's take a look at Converse, which is basically, it says, if I was born in Korea, then I was born in Seoul. So it's already telling us that if I was born in Korea, then I was born in Seoul. So we're going to finish our table here. This is Q and P, if Q then P. Uh, and we know that the first one is true because if I was born in Korea, then I was born in Seoul. So this is our first letter, uh, first arrow. The second arrow says, if I was born in Korea, I was not born in Seoul. So if I was born in Korea, maybe I wasn't born in Seoul. Is that true? Well, yeah, it, it's possible, right? You could have been born somewhere else. So this is actually also true. Then the third one here, if I was not born in Korea, if I was not born in Korea, I was born in Seoul. Now this one is false because it contradicts our original statement that if I was born in Korea and I was born in Seoul. Uh, so here, the third uh, pr proposition is false. It's impossible. And the fourth one, if I was not born in Korea, I was not born in Seoul, that's also possible because I could have been born somewhere else. So here for uh, the, uh, this is true, for, um, for the converse, you can see that the false is actually right here under the third statement. For the original implication, it was here, and for this one, it's here. So this is kind of important re to realize that it's not in the same place. So the false is in a different place. And one of the main reasons why it's important to understand uh, that these two falses are in different places is because if we look at the last statement, if we look at the statement I was talking about before called equivalence, equivalence is actually this. Equivalence is um, P double arrow Q, which is basically, it says um, if and only uh, P, no, sorry, Q, or if and only if P. In other words, it's like saying, I was born in Korea if and only if I was born in Seoul. So let, let's actually take a look at this very quickly. So this says, I was born in Korea if and only if I was born in Seoul. And we're going to rewrite this in the column right here. So this is going to be a separate truth table for P, um, Q if and only if P. So this is going to be right here. Now, the first value, so the first value says this. Uh, this is truth and truth, and it says, I was born in Korea if and only if I was born in Seoul. That is true. So you can see this is true, this is true, so this will lead, it to, lead, lead this to true as well. Uh, the second value, I was born in Korea if and only if I was not born in Seoul. Now, that doesn't really make sense anymore. So this will be false. And as you can see, this is also false. So these two values are actually the same. The yellow values are the same. And as you can see, you can kind of guess the, uh, the pattern here. So basically, this will also be false. And this will be true. So this is really, really the pattern here. Uh, essentially, what uh, the equivalence is, equi equivalence, equivalence is, uh, here, I'll, I'll try to circle it here. Equivalence is implication implication plus converse it's these two together so uh, the truth table for equivalence is a combination of implication tr truth table and converse truth table all right so we have two to go we have inverse and contrapositive so let's take a look at that as well and in order to explain inverse and contrapositive i actually have to make a truth table with the uh, negation of both of these values so here this is this will be the opposite of p so this will be false false true true and this will be false true false true so the first thing we have is called here I'm just, let me just make this a little bit prettier the first one is called inverse so let's take a look at the inverse and inverse essentially says this if not p then not q this is our inverse and if you remember the one I just did previously, it's essentially going to give you exactly the same results, except for instead of P and Q, we'll have non-P and non-Q. So here, the results will be like this. And the first one here says, if I was not born in Seoul, then I was not born in Korea. Well, that's true. The second one says, if I was not born in Seoul, I was born in Korea. That, yeah, that's possible. It's true. Uh, third one says, if I was born in Seoul, I was not born in Korea. Now that one is false because Seoul is in Korea. And the last one says, if I was born in Seoul, then I was born in Korea. And that's true. 
Now let's do contrapositive. This is essentially the opposite where these two are flipped. So this is a contrapositive. And here we're going to have the values that are um, truth, false, full truth, truth. Now, if you remember, this looks very familiar. This is actually uh, very similar to the previous table, except that they're inverse. So what this means is that the inverse is actually similar to something else. Now, if you haven't guessed what it is yet, let me just help you with this. So if, if I rewrite my implication here and my converse right here, and then I also rewrite my inverse next to it, let's just use a different color. I'm going to use a little bit darker color. Uh, so this is not, not P, not Q, if not P, then not Q, and if not Q, then not P. What you'll notice is that there is a bit of equivalence going on, but it's not this. This is not equivalent. So in other words, if I say, if I was born in Korea, then I was, no, sorry, if I was born in Seoul, then I was born in Korea, it is not equivalent to saying, if I was not born in Seoul, uh, then I was not born in Korea, because if you're not born in Seoul, you can be born in a different city. So this is actually not equal, but it is equal to this. This is actually equivalent. So if I say, if I was born in Seoul, I was born in Korea, it's actually like, like saying, if I was not born in Korea, then I was not born in Seoul, which makes sense, because if you are not born in Korea, then you're definitely not born in Seoul, because Seoul is in Korea. Same thing goes for this here. If I was born in Korea, then I was born in Seoul, is equivalent to saying, if I was not born in Seoul, then I was not born in Korea. I know it's a mouthful and it's kind of complicated, but this is one of those things you actually have to try to remember. So um, for implications, they're always, always equivalent to contrapositives. And for um, converses, they are always, always equivalent to inverses. Now, this is a very, very important rule that is um, always true in logic, and it's something that um, you'll probably encounter a lot as well. All right, so let's do a short summary. Basically, I'm just going to use symbols, not the words. Hopefully, the symbols are a little bit more clear to you now. So, uh, rule number one, this is rule number one, and rule number one is that if, if we have um, uh, implication if P, then Q, then it is going to be equivalent to, to the following statement. If not Q, then not P. So notice that Q here is in the beginning and here Q is at the end. That's rule number one. Rule number two, if we have a converse, if Q, then P, it is going to be equivalent to if not P, then not Q. That's rule number two. And finally, rule number three. Uh, we have an implication here, if P, then Q. I'm going to put it in brackets. And then we also have a converse, if Q, then P. Also in brackets. If we find a conjunction of these two, what we will get is, we will get something that's called equivalence. And this is what equivalence is. It's a conjunction of the implication and the converse. And this is it. This is a summary of everything we've uh, just talked about and everything we've studied in chapter eight. So basically implications, equivalence, converse, inverse, and contra contrapositives all can be summarized in this little three, uh, three sentence rule summary thingamajig. Uh, hopefully it's a little bit more clear. It's, if it's not, Take a look at some of the tables in your book because they're um, a little bit more detailed and might explain it to you a little bit better. And overall, this is really it. This is the chapter in a nutshell. Thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.